Hi, this is Juliana with Frizella Nursery. I want to talk to you today about that recent cold snap we had here where we got some really, really cold temperatures and went down to zero and under. And unfortunately here at the greenhouse, we got a little cold damage. So I know I see a lot of people on the groups that I'm on um, talking about cold damage plants, what to do, how to take care of them. I know we've touched on this on some other videos, but I really want to show you what cold damage looks like. On this poor Diefenbachia, you can see those leaves are kind of got black spots in them. And this is definitely from the cold damage. You can see it all the way around. So, as opposed to this beautiful pothos that does not have any cold damage, it's green, it's bright, it's firm, it's a gorgeous plant. Everything's fine with that. So here we had a little hiccup in our greenhouse, which happens in a lot of greenhouses, and it can happen if you have a greenhouse at home. You gotta make sure that you've got it warm, you're keeping above 55 degrees when we get super, super cold like this, and just to protect the plants. And if you can't keep it that way, bring your plants inside. I did a video last week where we talked about gathering your plants, huddling them together, keeping them away from windows and things like that. So. If you've got cold damage on a plant, hopefully it didn't get all the way down here into the roots. What we're going to do with these plants is we're going to cut them back and take all the cold damaged leaves off and take a look at it as it grows and gets new leaves. Give it some nice water, don't overwater it. Remember, this time of year there's less photosynthesis, so your plants really aren't going to be doing a whole lot. There's no, not much growing unless you've got a grow light. There's not much happening. That's why we don't fertilize. We don't really feed the plant unless you've got some uh, grow lights going that you want to continue to grow through the winter. Additionally, you might see some yellowing on leaves on this beautiful pothos. I've got one yellow leaf. Now I'm not real concerned about that yellow leaf. I'm going to probably take it off, make sure that it's okay. I shouldn't see any more yellow leaves, but this time of year, when you've got changes in temperature, you've got changes in the water, you've got changes in what the plant does because it's basically in hibernation and it's not growing, you're gonna get those little things. Don't be alarmed, it's perfectly normal. It's, it's gonna be okay. But when you have stuff that happens like this, you might have a bigger challenge on your hands. The thing is, cut back all these leaves, take them off, get rid of them. Give the guy a little bit of water if he needs it, don't let it get too dry, but don't let it get wet either, and you don't want to get any root rot. If you continue to see yellow or black coming out of new leaves, we could have a root rot situation where you've got really cold damage all the way through, and you just may have to get rid of the plant, unfortunately. But before that, remember, winter's not over. We're gonna get some cold weather again. Huddle your plants together. Keep them away from windows. Keep them above 55 degrees when it gets really, really cold like zero. If you have any questions about cold damage or whether your plant is cold damage, you can always send me pictures at hello at forcellanursery.com. I'll answer any of your questions about your plants if I can, if I can answer them, or I'll get um, an expert that can answer them. So remember, contact me at hello for, at forcellanursery.com, and I'll answer any of your plant questions send me pictures and I'll help you along with the situation. Come and see me next week when I've got another video. We're going to talk about Valentine's plants. See you soon.